For almost a week, Sri Lanka's daily COVID-19 caseload continued to exceed 2,000. Yesterday, the epidemiology unit placed the figure at 2,289, with the Colombo district reporting 555 infections. The district of Gaul reported the second highest number of new cases with 281, while the Gampa district confirmed 236 cases. Kurunagala meanwhile recorded 218 infections, while 211 cases of the virus were confirmed from the district of Kaluthara, 99 infections from Puttalam, and 79 cases from Mathara and Mathale. The districts of Kegol and Norelia confirmed 73 and 71 infections, respectively. A further 367 fresh COVID-19 cases were reported across 14 other districts. Yesterday's caseload also included 20 imported cases as well. As for today, 1,786 new novel coronavirus cases have been confirmed so far. In the meantime, the country also reported the highest daily COVID-19 related fatalities yesterday with 29. This places the overall figure of deaths at 921. 16 of the victims had died solely due to COVID pneumonia. The remaining 13 victims had suffered from underlying health conditions. We can see that there are some increased number of deaths reporting every day. In between 20 to 30 deaths are reported several days. This can happen because of two things. The one thing is that we are reporting the deaths not on the same day. Some deaths are reported to us sometimes later. The reason is that cause of death is given after the post-mortem or an inquest. So it takes time. Only after that we will be able to declare the death. In addition, we can see that when the cases are increased, the number of deaths also increase. Because of that, the deaths that we are reporting also increase. In other developments, a COVID-19 patient receiving treatment at the Homagama Hospital had escaped yesterday during the morning. Health authorities managed to track down the escapee and re-hospitalize him. But the patient in question had escaped once again at around 3 p.m. yesterday. Following this, hospital police found the suspect from a house located 500 metres away from the hospital and readmitted the patient. Meanwhile, the country's number of COVID-19 recoveries rose by 1,352 today, taking the overall tally to 117,220. As such, the total number of active COVID-19 cases in Sri Lanka currently stand at 19,944. Dasana Kanti Junior Saita, Liver Aish Dantale, Dapula Eti Prasna, the Hayak Walakai.